Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I will be creating this makeup look using some of the best luxury makeup of 2022. I have already uploaded a dedicated video with the best makeup of the year. If you haven't watched it yet, I will make sure to link it on the description box below. I uploaded it perhaps yesterday or a couple days ago when I'm uploading this video. I mean, I just uploaded it and I'm super excited for today's video because I'm collaborating with none other than Charlotte Holcroft. Thank you so much to Charlotte. I adore Charlotte. She has the best humor. <laughs> she just puts me in the best mood. I love her style of makeup. I love how sincere she comes across. She is very polite, but at the same time, she has a little bit of these sarcastic ways. And I'm sure you're already subscribed to her channel. If you are not, which that will be like, wait a second. What, how? No, yeah. I will be leaving the link to her video, the link to her channel on the description box below. And if you come from Charlotte's channel, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you will want to become part of this family. So let's go ahead and get it started right here. Yes, clean canvas. I have just my skincare on and let's go first to my top fit. Well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of products right here that it was hard to decide. I was like, I have little boxes right next to me with all the best products of the year. And yeah, hard to pick. But the way that I kind of selected the products that I'm going to be using today is basically because they are new formulation. That was kind of why I select these products. But nonetheless, I mean, all the products that I spoke on my best makeup of 2022 is because they are just like oh so amazing let's start first with primer using comfort traceless soft matte primer it's not really matte and i do have dry sensitive mature skin um over i'm on my fourth floor over 40 years so i do have fine lines right here right here signs of aging some spots some redness on this area right here just in the middle where i have my enlarged pores i do have more of combination skin during the fall winter time is usually dry completely dry but summertime springtime it can be a little bit more combo right here i like to mention these things because i know mostly if you're coming from charter's channel she lives in a different climate that I do. I live in California, near to the coastline, but it still is a little bit drier, mostly fall and winter time. And even when it's summertime, it's not as humid. I used to live in Florida. I'm from Peru, that's why my accent too. So I kind of know a little bit of, you know, how products will work in different type of environments. So anyhow, I just wanna throw it up there to you. I will be leaving those frequently asked questions like my foundation matches, etc. They will be also on the description box below. I mean, how many times I have to say that? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's go with this baby. I really love this primer because it makes your makeup last longer. It does kind of um, blur a little bit your large pores imperfection, but again, I really love how it makes all my makeup last a lot a lot longer and it's not heavy and it's not drying and don't be afraid about the word mad on these new products from tom Ford. honestly there's nothing mad about it more than anything else it just makes your makeup look natural for foundation and this is a new foundation from chanel and i think they did a extraordinary job number one of chanel numero un de chanel gorgeous these have the perfect amount of glow without being greasy without being dewy that looks your makes your skin look too wet it just looks so perfect natural with a healthy healthy glow it's also nice long wearing non-heavy it's just beautiful it's just beautiful and honestly, you can just spread it with your fingers and it will give the most natural look. I like to apply it with my fingers, also, I mean, with a brush too, but sponge, sponge is an amazing way to also spread it if you like to have light layers. And it does have more of a light to medium coverage. I do have a ton of freckles and I do have a ton of 
yeah, sunspots. <laughs> Wear your sunscreen. <laughs> that, by the way, I didn't mention it on the best makeup of 2022. I mentioned it on like my half year roundup. And uh, the Tatcha sunscreen, it's really good for under makeup. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And you don't need a lot. That's something that, you know, I, I don't like to build too, too much. I think this is, this is just perfectly fine. Let's just look at a little bit on this side. Perhaps if I want to build it up, it will be right here where I have a couple of sunspots. But as you can tell, do you saw how much I was applying? <laughs> It was like a quarter of a pump for my entire face. And that's something super important as I think any age. See, I do have a teenager daughter and she just uses a tinted SPF that is incredible, which I'm so happy she does. And this is the thing to me is less is more. Don't apply too much because it's going to age you. I mean, if you're young, you're going to look older. If you are already, you know, showing signs of aging, if you to put too much, it's just going to make you look even older. You know, it's, it's not going to give you any favors. I love how thin is this product. It's just fantastic. And Chanel really rocked this year because my only favorite new concealer of the year. I mean, I had some honorable mentions on that video, but this one is one that there's nothing like it. Zero. Nothing. Nothing. I I have pretty much every single concealer that you can imagine. I do have, as you can tell, very dark under eye circles, deep blue hint, and I usually need and must use a color corrector this product is two in one. It is a color corrector. It is a concealer. It does have full, full coverage. It does give you moisture under your under eye area. It's non-creasing. You can even go out and about without setting it. I have a full on review and it's my most viewed video on this channel. And I compare it to another favorite of mine. And um, yeah, I, I <laughs> is this baby is the Chanel the Sublimage Le Corrector U and I know the packaging it can be a little bit like oh you know a, a yard it's it's hard to handle it you know it, it may be better having it on a double applicator and I agree on that because I would love to take this to be able to take it for trips but I have to say that as you use it just setting it on your vanity, you don't have to be moving it around. And then it comes with two tools. This one right here, which is a little spatula, and then the brush. And I remember someone on, no, I don't, I think it was on my review, said, oh, I will toss the brush. Don't toss it. Because the brush is where part of the magic comes in. So in terms of application, just use the spatula. Tap it just once. Tiny amount. Tiny. A thing, super thing, okay. And then I will say just do one, two dots. If you have fine lines on this area right here, I will say you don't need to even use it there because it would just be too much product. And you will see there's a still product right here. And then I let it set a little. Yes, don't call me crazy. No, it's just so that pigment really gets into it. And now I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna be using the Florasis brow pencil. This one, if you have tried the Gucci brow pencil, the powder one, it's very alike to it. And this was new this year, so that's why it ended up on favorites of the year too. Because it's so good. I really love the shade too. It's a really good shade. And if you have brow hairs as I do, you're gonna just love, love, love this brow pencil because it doesn't take long to just fill in the gaps and by the way if you see a little bit of change of light is because i feel me natural light so i don't have yet a switch for you know the clouds and the sun <laughs> it's very hard to film in natural light very very hard because 
weather is unpredictable. Like I said, you cannot, you know, tell a cloud, hey, move, or sun, do not shine so much, you know. <laughs> or these past days have been here, well, it has been raining a lot, and we need the rain here in California, so I'm not complaining about it at all and whatsoever, but I'm just saying that it has been so rainy, and it was has been just so oh, dark, and today, full, full sunshine. Okay, let me set my brows, and where did I put it up? Right here. This is the Patrick Cha Major Brow Lamination Gel. I don't think this came out this year. I think this came out last year, honestly. It's such a great brow gel. You just need to work a little bit fast with it. Okay, now let's go back to the concealer. Using the brush that it comes with, I'm gonna spread it. I really want you to see with those little two dots, that's all what you need. And I do have a lot of fine lines under my under eye area. And this concealer doesn't emphasize any of those fine lines. In addition, it lasts throughout the entire day without even creasing. Like I said, if you're a person like to me, when I'm in camera, I usually tend to use a powder when it's summertime and I know I'm going to be out and about walking, sweating, whatever, right? Then I go ahead and powder, but usually I don't powder my makeup. Very, very rare occasion when I do so. And this is the beauty of this concealer that it doesn't crease, elast, it just looks wonderful, doesn't move around or shift, you can build up the coverage too, so if you want to cover even more you can do so, but as you can tell, do you see the big big difference on this concealer, I mean, look at that, I didn't need to use a color corrector and it covered so well those horrible, <laughs> I mean, horrible dark blue under eye circles that I have. Just magical. For cream bronzer, I'm going to be using a new formulation because I do have favorites of favorites, okay? <laughs> you know what? In all these years that I have been here on YouTube, I think I haven't done a full face of OGs, something that I think I really need to do. I mean, I have been here a few years on YouTube. So anyhow, going with this chart of Tilray, this is the beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. It does have more of like a dense consistency, a little bit clay-like, a little bit goes a long way. I use the shade um, 2 Medium. A beautiful formula so easy to apply easy to blend and I think it comes in four different shades if I don't mistake it I think four I got three of them the medium one is the one that looks just perfect on me this was a total surprise for me I didn't thought it was gonna be as good until I tried it this is the face powder by Christian Louboutin and it comes in different shades. So it's not really translucent. It does have a, a little bit of pigment. I'm using the shade 20 NW Beige Nude. And I'm just gonna use a little bit right here. On my large pores. I love it. It smooths out my large pores. And you can even use it on your under eye area. Because 
it's a thin kind of powder. It's not heavy. It's not drying. It actually, when you touch it, it's silky like. It reminds me a lot to the Gucci setting powder that it leaves your complexion looking like a porcelain doll. That's how I feel about it. So beautiful, beautiful product. Now let's go for powder bronzer. I'm gonna be using my Valentino bronzer. This is universal. There's nothing universal about it, whatever. <laughs> Definitely they need to spend, but I think Valentino, they are doing really a wonderful job in terms of their powders. They are so silky, so smooth. Honestly, one of the best, best powders that you can find. And when I say powders, it's because the same formula that you find on the bronzer is the same formula that they use for their blush, is the same formula that they use for their setting powder, which is just so skin-like. Look at that. I mean, like, just impeccable. For blush, you know, this is coming Gucci. <laughs> Any, any of the Gucci lashes, extraordinary. One of my favorite ones is Rosy Beige 05. I actually pick up all of them and it's just such a beautiful blush. And I'm using a BK Beauty with, um, this was the collaboration between BK Beauty and Angie and Hot and Flashy. The brush is A505. This shade in particular is that kind of like Pillow Talk kind of shade. <laughs> so, so in love. For highlighter, I'm gonna go with Clé de Peau. Although this is not technically a new highlighter, it's, it's a reformulation. And this is what we have seen in the luxury world this year that I'm super happy about, is that they didn't brought us too many highlighters, the typical highlighters, those that they leave you a stripe on the face, that you can really see a lot of pigment, that they look so unnatural, but rather we have seen a lot more of luminizers, those that they really leave you with this aura effect on your face that makes your skin look like it's truly and literally glowing from within, that it's not like boom look at this <laughs> you know it's pink is it's just another color that is so unnatural and not even flattering so anyhow going with this baby is the shade 203 this is what i'm talking about it's not emphasizing my texture it's like the radiance is like oh your skin is so healthy what what skincare have you been using? <laughs> that's that's all what I want from my highlighters. I don't want any more color. I don't want to be, um, yeah. I don't I don't want to be a light bulb. No, I don't want that. Look at that, so pretty, so so pretty. I'm completely in love. For the eyes, it was really really hard to choose one of the many many beautiful eyeshadow palettes that came out this year but I'm deciding to go with the Natasha Denona my dream palette truly a dream I think I'm just gonna use perhaps like four or three shades let's just do something something simple something very nice and simple let's go first with the shade Nurture this shade right here And I'm just applying it outer third and then above the crease. With the shade Familia, and I'm gonna be using the same brush. And I'm just gonna focus this shade on the outer third. So easy to blend. Gotta love this palette for that. One of the palettes that it was really hard for me to put down after I tried it. Okay, let's go for another brush with a Sonia G self shader. I'm gonna go to this shade called Serenity. 
and I'm just gonna take it right here on the outer third not going over the matte shades that I have already applied just dropping it all right here God, I love this shade. I mean, you can use it all over the lid and it looks just fantastic. It's so beautiful. Let's go next with a Smith 253 brush and I'm gonna go with this shade called Babies. Perhaps one of my most used shades from this palette. And I'm gonna take it and apply it in inner portion. What a gorgeous shade. You don't even need to wet it. Okay, next with a shade Thrill, I'm gonna just take it with my finger and I'm gonna tap it right on the center of the eyelid to give a halo kind of effect. For my under eye area, I'm gonna go with a shade Nurture. Refer 23 brush and the shade is Spontaneous. Sonia G Flat Definer and I'm gonna go to the shade Familia and I'm gonna just take it beneath my lower lash line for my waterline I'm gonna go with this hourglass gel liner in the shade cave there hasn't been any eyeliner that really got me wow so I'm just gonna use my trusty Tom for double-ended eyeliner this is so good so easy to use too For mascara, I'm going to be using the Isum Mascara. Isum Mascara that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, I know Isum is not a brand that it's rave about all the time, but they do have great products. And one of the best products that they have launched to me is this mascara. It's lengthening, it's volumizing, it's not too heavy, it's really dark black. It's really a good, good mascara. Doesn't flake just a great mascara this is not a new formula but i'm sorry this has been such a incredible discovery for me is the natasha denona i need a nude lip crayon i'm completely in love with that the shade is just so perfect it's long wearing oh it's just everything. Yes, I would have used the Natasha Denon. <laughs> I need a nude collection. This trio right here is fabulous. If you haven't got it, you should. I mean, if you're in need of these products, obviously not, not that you just need to go and buy whatever, right? <laughs> but a great formula that I have tried this year is from Merit. Merit and their signature lipsticks. I think they are incredible because they do have this formula that you can build on. It has enough pigment. You can go very lightly or you can just, you know, go full on. I think there are only eight shades total, but I have so many lipsticks on my collection. And believe me when I'm telling you that I don't have exact dupes for these lip shades. I mean, they are truly unique on formulation and on the shades. Yes, you have your nude tone, then you have this pinky shade, which is baby. Um, but again, they they are not the typical pinky nude. They are not the typical 90s brown kind of shade. I mean, like, they are all very, very unique. Creamy, not too thick. You will have to reapply them they are not matte, they are not super satin either, but they are just beautiful. So this is the lipstick all by itself. And now I'm going to top it off with a lip gloss and Victoria Beckham Beauty. She has done an incredible job with her lip glosses. First, she launched one that it was just completely clear. And then this year she launched multiple shades. Any shade that you want is beautiful. One of my favorites is tan line just stunning in terms of finishing powder and to just bring everything together uh, this new Chantecaille 
Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. Now, when it says glow, don't think that it is a highlighter. No, it's a finishing powder that just brings everything together and just gives a beautiful glow from within to your skin. Like, it's just so perfecting. And by the way, I'm using my La Mer brush. I hope, I just hope that this powder becomes permanent because it's just perfection. Perfection, look how everything just turned out. Mm, just so good. And because we cannot finish a makeup look without that kiss of a fragrance, I'm gonna be using Burberry Elixir this gorgeous bottle. I think for a designer fragrance, this has been one of the best designer fragrances of 2022. I love my niche fragrances, but designer ones, these honestly incredible. I love this one way more than the new Prada fragrance. I know it's all the hype because of the triangle, but honestly, in terms of the notes, this fragrance is top, top. It has notes of a strawberry blackberry but it's not a fruity scent it does have a little bit of vanilla a little bit of sandalwood in it it's also an ambery fragrance mm. okay that scent bubble is gorgeous ideal for fall season i also see myself using these during springtime kind of like in the evening it's a beautiful Kind of like a strawberry shortcake kind of fragrance. It reminds me to something strawberry, either a strawberry shortcake, a strawberry dessert, not really with whipping cream, nothing like that. Um, but it does have a little bit of this strawberry note, but it's just so well balanced with the sandalwood that it smells incredible. And I think when I'm uploading this video, Sephora is having a, I think it's a fragrance for all event where you can get full-size fragrances for 20% off. I will be leaving the details in the description box below too because um, I know it, it's a lot of information. Okay, my friends, and this is my final look using some of the best makeup of 2022. I will highly suggest if you wanna see what are all the other products that I consider the best of the best releases of 2022. I will be leaving on the description box below the link to that video. I wanna say once again, thank you so much to Charlotte Holcroft for this collaboration. It has been amazing. I am sending you all my love. I cannot wait to go to your country and give you a big hug, visit you there. I would love to meet you in person. Thank you so much for that collaboration. Thank you so much to all of you that come from Charlotte's channel. I hope that you will want to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends, and I will be leaving you two other videos right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.